seen something crazy, so like, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Yo, that was so funny. I don't know why that was so funny to me. I swear, I feel like I just told you like I'm, I would distract you and then and then do it, and then it, you actually got distracted. <laughs> yo, yo, laugh with Xavier. I appreciate you. That was actually so crazy. Max said they're gonna trash your room. I know, bro. Just tell Max, bro, um, to just stop being uh, dumb, bro. I really wish I had glasses like yours. You look so cool. You just always look so cool. I want to look cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Put them on. Let me see you, let me see you. No, it has to be more in. They're too big for my head. No, it just has to be like this. Oh, okay. It looks nice like that. Really? Yeah. Don't lie. I'm serious, why would I lie? <laughs> it looks tough. Yo, Astro, I appreciate I look, you. Wait, I look like a real scientist. Actually. I really you look do. More, now you look more like uh, Asian. I'm literally not no. no, I know, I know. But you know, the little after you went to Korea, you came back looking a little more. It's, it happens. Yeah. It happens. I mean, it's called cultural assimilation. We adopt the culture that we're in. Yeah. It's a thing. I want to go to like um, Japan for like two months and just live there because I feel like that would be my best health. I did feel that's a thing. Like the diet there, it's just it's so good for you. In East Asia, like I, I felt very healthy. You know. This can't be the garlic bread she was talking about, right? What? This can't be the garlic bread she's talking about, right? The garlic bread no. It's not it, right? No. Okay. This is just like the Yeah, okay. Did you order like garlic bread as a map? Yeah. Yeah, because that that can't that can't be it. No, no. No, no. So what's your favorite kind of pasta? Mm. Probably the bolognese, like with the meat and shit. Yeah. I like to like that pause. You're like you're very like carnivorous. Yeah, I'm very carnivorous. Yeah. I don't want no seafood. I like shrimp though. Really? Yeah. I hate. Shrimp. <laughs> I don't hate shrimp, but I I pointedly dislike crawfish. But I have a scientific reason. Why? What is the scientific reason though, behind why you don't like it? Oh. Yeah, so I was gonna get the um purple. Wait, wait, it says top with ginger beer. Is it like like a, a mist on top of it, spreads of it? Does it taste like beer? Like no, ginger beer. beer. Um, so that's like non-alcoholic, like made from actual ginger. Mm. It's a little spicy. Oh, I want some like sweet, like low key. Like. Oh, maybe prefer the purple haze then. Purple haze? Uh, yeah. Yeah. People love that one. Yeah, let, let me get uh, two purple hazes. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. And can you put like uh, sugar around the rim? Is that possible? Uh, we do salt. They don't have sugar around the rim. They don't have they, you know, salt? I don't want no salt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want no salt. I don't want no salt. It's pretty sweet as is. So. Hold on. Yeah. You want salt around your rim? That's okay. 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 Um, Oh my god, they're calling me a sweet ass nigga, bro. Oh my god, it's because of what you said. It's because of what you said. He's like, yeah, now this is more manly. But, but well, do you want to try this? It really, it's just. Oh. You're 19, nigga, I can't, bro. Why are you looking at me like, like, like as if I'm a hell man? No, I, this is actually what I'm serious about. So, like, I don't want to be a bad influence to him. I don't want him to, like, drink or smoke because of me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you feel me? Because I've already, I've already, like, influenced a lot of people. And people blame me for, like, oh, so you made me start smoking. Oh, thank you. It's like, Silky, you're the reason why I started smoking. Huh? Silky, you're the. Yeah. Wow, the impact you have. Is this a garlic bread? Oh, like, ooh, they gotta take this right out of here. There's no way you like this. It's not right. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, something smells really fucking good. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh! My fault, man. I think it's kind of like pasta. <laughs> yeah, I like that that's what it smells like. Okay, let's just slide things over. Just a little. Mm -hmm. This is so like Anthony Bourdain, like Travel Channel. So posh. <laughs> so posh and stush. 
See, this is like this is the kind of stuff that I love to do. Bro? Yeah, I love to like sit outside and just like have a good time. Yeah. yeah. That's what I like to do too. Really? And have a good time with people. With good company. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's, no, really. Like I, you know, I don't, I don't blow things up for fun. I, I sit down. I have a nice like drink and like a nice meal with, mm. with good company. And I, I think I implore everyone watching this to do the same. Yeah. Or take a walk. If you're not feeling great, either do this or take a walk. You'll feel better. It'll make you feel good. I promise. Just taking a walk. Thank you. Wow, such the core. You know how to say thank you. That's what I've been talking about. I know about. how to say thank you in Korean too. Kamsamnida. Arigato gozaimasu. That's what that means. <laughs> yeah. At least you know a little Korean and a little bit of Japanese. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a little dynamic duo. Yeah. You know Korean? No, I said I, she knows Korean oh. and I said I know Japanese. <laughs> oh, he think, oh, yeah, he actually knows a little bit of Korean. Do you really? A little bit. Did you go to Korea? Nah. Uh, Yo, Rel and Anti, I appreciate y'all for the song, man. He said, here we go, this laser nigga. <laughs> Yo, what, do you know some Korean? A little, you know. What'd that do? That's high, bro. Oh my god. So, do you, you know what I said earlier, right? The Tode Togo Deska. That's actually asking, where's the bathroom? Oh, I said it's not Is that Korean? Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Okay, so what about like. I wish it was like fluid and like more like. Let me see. So, what else I learned? Chibura. What, that that, means, wait, what does that mean? <laughs> Damn, I forgot what the yo, chit chat. What does Chibura mean? Oh, you gotta say this, right? Okay, nigga, night us. Huh? Okay, nigga, night us. Wait, what does that mean? Okay, nigga, night us. What does that mean? Okay, nigga, night us. What does that mean? I have no money. Really? Okay, nigga, night us. I'm so serious. Really? Okay, nigga, night us. No, so the word. So now it sounds like you're saying nigga, night us. No, so the same in, in Korean, nigga means you. <laughs> it does. No, it's <laughs> it spells N A E T A Nega. That's what Nega. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's Nega. Okay. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> no, that's actually so funny to read this. Way. So wait, in it's Korean, true. Nega means what? You. Oh, you. You. Like, oh, I thought so, you meant like white, like me. So there's a song in like a K-pop that's like ne nega j jalaka. It's like it means I am the best, or mm. it means either you or I. But yeah, mm. and so there's like a phonetic coincidence where obviously it sounds like. You know. So you have to say like okay, nigga, I does, and you have to put your hands up like this. I mean, that's uh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's it's you gotta do it. Okay, nigga, uh, no, but you gotta look at the camera. Okay, nigga, I does. Okay, we do it at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait. wait, wait. Three, two, one. Okay, nigga, now it does. But like, you're trying to like cloud my voice or like, your voice so you don't really hear the nigga. I see what you did there. Well, that's how they say they say that. Like, well, oh no, in Japan, they say nigga. We got our... <laughs> no, they do. Wait, really? Oh, Were people being mean? No, 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 hold on. They didn't say like the hard R. But they like, they like, I think it's in their language. And like, I guess they desensitize it over there. So like, I'll be like, what's good, my nigga? They're like, my nigga. And they, they won't understand. That is like it's a black thing, you know what I mean? Like, so I guess no, it's like yeah. desensitized. I mean, no, it's not, de it's just like, it's just like they don't mean it in like a malicious way. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh my god. No way. Cat, you see. I got you. Bye, guys. See the little pat down? That's that's something there's I no, learned. There's no stain. With the bomb. Yeah. What, type of, what type of pants are these? What the fuck? These are Korean pants. Yo, is yo, they didn't even stay. I know, right? No, they're they're really good pants. Yeah, I love these pants. They just said you pervert. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you pervert. Yo, they just said yo, you pervert. Oh, your glasses. Even though there's no prescription on them, is your eyesight like perfect? No, my eyesight is terrible. Wait, then why I'm is blind. there no prescription on them? Because if I do the prescription, then you're gonna have to take off this comb arch tie right here, mm -hmm. and that's what makes it look very cute. Mm -hmm. 
Or very nice. Two sounds of sus. Okay, well, I, che I cheers the last time. What is it cheers to? You gotta cheers to. Cheers to. Cheers to fulfillment in life. Mm. Cheers to being happy. Mm. You happy right now? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Jet on your phone. Huh? Jet on your phone. The jet on my phone? It's waterproof. I have a question. Do you um? Do you sip your drinks with like, like if your drink comes with a straw, do you sip it with a straw? Because I have dated a guy once. <laughs> I dated a guy once who he would refuse to use the straw because he thought it looked like really like feminine. He was like, I won't sip my drink with the straw. It looks so. Who's white or black? White. I mean, damn. Like, I mean, I think if he's not comfortable with his masculinity. And that's why he probably think he's gay. He probably end up coming out the closet too. Mm. That's your ex, right? Mm. Yeah, he'll probably end up coming out the closet soon. So, um, mm, 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 mm. you hear the songs that they're playing right now? This is like really vibey. But now, nah, um, yeah, nah, I don't give a fuck to drink out of the song. Like, yeah. it's like, it's like, I don't think it's gay. I don't either. I'm not eating a hot dog. Like, I wouldn't, I'm not. Um, I kind of eat a hot dog. So, I said I'm not eating a hot dog. I, I probably would never eat a hot dog in front of a girl. Why? I just don't. Just, just take like a tiny bite. <laughs> I'll break up. I'll break up a piece. Type shit. But like I'm not gonna eat like a full hot dog. I feel like because like back then during barbecue days, like you could go to town, nobody think nothing of it. But like in this day and age. And you, out a freak, you start eating a freak, yo, everybody's going crazy. Like, yo, this thing is a glitchy cobbler. Like, this thing is gay. And it's like, let me just uh, chill and avoid that. Nobody like, says that. What? Literally nobody says that. Yo, if I pulled out a hot dog right now, and I don't eat it on my screen, yo, you're going to see, yo, you're going to see that entire chat spam. Hey, yo, like, yo, like, you're going to be like going crazy. Just because... Because you're eating a hot dog. Yes. Mm. That's a little bit deep. Are you asking me? Oh my god, you know where I really want to go? Tell me, let's go. I want to go to Australia. My roommate. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go there. Them kangaroos. Them kangaroos. <laughs> you're crazy. I really want to go to Australia. I think it looks so cool. I'm not gonna lie. She did not lie. This garlic bread is actually fucking free. Really? It's good. You gotta try this shit. Okay. What happened? I dropped my tomatoes. Thank you. Are you clumsy? A little bit. Look out for me, I look out for me. Wait, so there was a booger in my nose? Oh my god. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't like that bad. You know what I mean? I still have that corner. Oh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Let me try this. Yo, that's actually like really fucking good. I bet you're gonna go smoke in there. I told you I don't smoke. Like permanently? <laughs> 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 um, I quit for 30 days until um Why? Because I was like, you know what, I'm gonna um do my summer thorn and I'm gonna show them that I have resilience. So um I'm gonna quit smoking for 30 days. Um now there was See, there was if some it time were me week. personally I'd be like how long can I get away with being high on camera? And like they won't notice. Oh no, they they will know. Really? I lie, like I'm the most obvious high. Like my eyes, it just goes like this, like, like, and, and my entire energy changes. Like, like when I'm sober, I'm like. I, I bet you become like really awkward. No. Really? I'm just like this. Like, all the time. So quiet. Yeah, I'm. I'm kind of. I'm way more quiet too. Yeah. Like when I'm sober, that's like when my energy is like. Bow, bow, yeah. Bow, you know, out, out there. No, I agree. They said he gets slow. Okay, so no, no. So that's what I'm about to say. They said I'm a liar, but so like I did tell them. Within certain days of my subathon, I will smoke. So like, um, 
or if they give me the if they give me the pass to smoke in certain situations. Like yesterday, I was with um, a bunch of rappers and they were smoking. They were like, "Yo, hit the blunt, hit the blunt, hit the blunt." Now like, y'all, I can only hit the blunt if the chat allows it. You know what I'm saying? The chat said I was good, so I hit so the, the chat. The chat is like your wife. They're like your wife. Well, no, I don't really have a. Let me think about it. I don't really have a spot. I don't really like my wife's spot is vacant right now. No, like they're like your wife. Like you're like because mm. like normally you'd be like oh, I can't drink unless my wife tells me to or like unless I can't smoke unless my wife tells me to. The chat. I got like, that would never happen. You can marry the chat. My wife, no, I'm saying it would never happen to where my my wife dictates if I could drink or not. Oh really? Yeah, because she would understand like. I mean, my wife should understand that I'm composed and I wouldn't. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah, true. like I'm not no fucking no. alcoholic or like super crazy. Are you sure? Yeah. I can handle my liquor. I'm not. Yeah. Uh, first of all, most, now that I'm in the gym, alcohol regresses gains. Really? Yes. Is that true? So true. What do you mean? So like, Wait, I can... Wait, the calories? Everything. Mm. Alcohol just regresses gains and sets you back. You know what I'm saying? Um... So, oh, this no fucking way. <laughs> you five star K, right? You five star K, right? You jacket five star K? You go knock me out, right? Right? You go knock me out, right? No, so you stupid. You, you, you said you was looking out. You said you was looking at me out. Right? You said you was looking at me out. Right? Oh my god. What's good? I'm not even going to go. I'm not even going to go. I'm not even going to go. So you, oh, you, I was this away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, niggas were saying it was five star K. Hey, yeah, nigga, I'm five star K, nigga. I'm dropping a five, nigga. And I'm what? SLGK, nigga. Yo, what? I lie. You better what? lose it in front of her. Don't be losing it in front of her. Don't do what you gotta do. Oh, you, you know what I mean? We need that ice spot. Oh, I'm all, I'm all. This, 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 this is my little brother right here. All right, this is my little brother. Yeah. Period. Um, you just say period? I just say period. Yeah, yeah. shit, my fault. Okay, so. You feel me? Um, after, so you after, after, no, no. So after I drop, after I, I have my my nice dinner. After release I have me. my release, release you. Release right, me. So I will release, release you now. Me. Release me. After I have my nice dinner with um the beautiful cat the brat. You know, oh, nice to meet you, big fan, big fan. Oh, yeah, hard time SLG man. Uh, okay, 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 okay. That's enough. That's enough. You get <laughs> oh, you trying to get me tight? You trying to get me tight? Mm -hmm. I won't let you. I won't let you get me on my element. I know word, what you're doing. Word, word. Uh -huh. So, um, you say you're five minutes, right? Like, I'm here for Cardi's birthday, for real. <laughs> I mean, it's Cardi's birthday, but but I was just like, yo, let me go shopping. You know what I'm saying? Like six, five. This thing is a bitch. Okay, y'all see how I'm mocking him, right? Y'all see how I'm mocking him, right? Bro, you literally, you literally are like, bro. I don't lie, bro. You gotta hit the. Gym. I'm not gonna lie. You kind of what? Like, tall. I know. I know. I'm kind of tall. I thought you would be tall, but. Say on God, he thought I was. I, I was. So I told you like five six eleven. One. I'm like six two, so you got to be like five eleven. <laughs> you just said you were six five. Nah, I'm like six two for a exposed he's, he's, he's literally lying. He's literally you got to be like five ten. You're literally five lying. ten max. How tall did he tell you was? Uh, like six five. I did not tell you that. Uh, I did not tell you that. I can say anything. I told you I was six one. I, I can say anything. <laughs> Yo. Who do you think you are? Pull up all be like that. You know you could yo. You know I could have backed down, backed down, ratty and just left you right here. You said you were, You said you was gonna shoot the five star members. So. No, when I get back though, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you rock because uh -huh. you feel me. You uh -huh. said that you you really not five star. You just want to do it together. It's like I'm so, not five star. No, you're not. Yeah, you say so. You see now niggas run into a five star member. Now it's oh you're not five star. Well, I dropped niggas your five. Niggas say nothing. Okay, and I dropped your SLG. But now, you're not really SLG. I am. You just told him you was a long time SG member. Yeah. And I switched. I switched. I'm mad Nixie. I'm a five star now. I don't care. Five star shit. You know what I mean? I'm five star now. Okay. Um, allow me to finish my dinner with her. And then, yeah. You know? Oh, clap it. I was just in the way. Oh, my fault. Yeah, allow me to finish my dinner with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. I'll handle you. I'll handle you a little bit later. Nah, yeah, we're, we're, we're. Yeah. You, you gonna be around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You vlogging right now? Yeah, yeah. Cardi birthday at uh, oh, come 10 o'clock. So, come back. Yeah, I think we should be going down. Yo, let's try to wait until tomorrow. Uh, I'm trying to take me out to the open. How did you know? I'm not a person. I'm not going too far. Uh, <laughs>
Yo, um, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, I finally um, met my uncle, my little uncle, you know what I'm saying? He a little short, but I thought he was taller. He was a little weak, too. I know, I know. You, know you, feel, you feel it. His chains look you a little snatchable, it. but oh I'm not even going to do that right now. I'm not even going to do that right now. You will end up in that black truck right there. I'm oh, where? Yeah, you will end up in that See, black like, truck. I'm not going to do that because, like, you know what I'm saying? We've been waiting for this for four years, so it's like, I'm not about making look too crazy. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't understand. I'm getting a dopamine rush, but I'm gonna keep it cool. Just because you know I'm saying, I want to make him look too crazy. But, but, yeah, bro. Yeah. You know, it, it's great yeah, to my finally boy be right my, here, man. My, my little, my, my, my little, little man, man. That's my little man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, for sure, for sure. I really jack him. You feel me? He came outside. Yeah, you gotta get, you gotta get back in the weight room, man. Cause you know, you just, you just big, but you don't got real muscle. You feel me? I feel it right now. I feel the power that I can really, you know, do what I really want with sports. Um. But yo, wait, we just woke me. See, I subbed the fuck up. This is a this is a long time SG member. Even though he tries to uh, dick mod and say that he's not, he is. This is my dog. Um, I'm gonna hurt him after this. After this, after this dinner, I'm going. I'm probably going to hurt him. What are you doing? Dropping your ass, bro. What? You didn't. That's I don't. That's not even our shit. Y'all got nothing. That's what okay, I'm so saying. What's, the, what's, what's that shit? Five star. Five star. Yeah. You see what I'm doing, nigga. You see what I was doing? I put the gun to that. I, 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 I put the gun to that. Like, you know what's going you know, on. Five star. You know what I'm saying? I huh? probably would have knocked you off by now, but you know what I'm saying? You're not really five star K for real because you ain't really. I'm so heavy on the five star K. Um, you heard yeah. the song I made last night. That's just going triple fucking platinum, nigga. And then you think I was in the stream while you was making that bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> you know where I was, nigga? You thought I was watching? What the fuck? Studio stream? <laughs> Studio stream? I think I'm tuning into that. <laughs> what? You know exactly where I went. But yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, look at the whole chat saying five star K, nigga. They know what's up, bro. They know what's up. Yeah, now we really dropping a five, nigga. And when we and I got lie, you know what's gonna happen when I get back to that crib over there too. A lot of niggas gonna get hurt. Bad. I'm not gonna lie, my son Trent gonna do you. You think so? Nah, <laughs> yeah, he's good. But um you know what I'm saying, uh, hopefully they they make it out alive. This week, you know what I'm saying? That's some shit, CMB shit, man. Come on, man. I ain't gonna lie, I can't believe you actually popped out. That's some that's some that's some demon shit. I know. Really yeah, my son, my son really a demon with three pierces in his ears. Such a demon. What's your name again? Anthony. Anthony? Nice to meet you, bro. Sure. <laughs> this nigga. Nah, 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 you gotta get that yam off your face. Y'all see this nigga don't got his girls in. <laughs> Wavy! <Blame me. laughs> Come carry up, nigga. Oh, man, you tell me, bro. My fault, my fault, man, yo, I just hit you. My fault. Ah, yo, um, where you take the boy? I know it's fun to be in there. I love you, I love you, I love you. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, this, this is a long time, like, Gaza right here. He's a long time Gaza right here. This is the guy, you feel me? So it's not like it's not no weird shit, it's not no for me no crazy shit. Nah, yeah, I was yeah, telling you, he was literally summer. like, he was like, yo, is this crazy? I'm like, nah, he's not gonna follow it. Yeah, nah, me. hell nah. Yeah, it's him. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I know I could do that to Silky. Like I could really pull up, do what I want, you know what I'm saying? Get my content out of him. But maybe feel so like you're just using me for content. You're just exactly. using me for content. I'm fine, so I already told you. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Yo, Ed, yeah. That's me, right, bro. Got you, huh? you about to pull back up after? What? Wait, where's the where's the um the Cardi concert? Oh, they ain't even talking about this. It's a Brooklyn though. I'll probably be over there. It's funny about bus though. I got I can get niggas in this everything. I got a lot, that's I got tickets on it. No, but I can get niggas probably back there. So me? Me Cardi. Slash it. Nigga don't know you. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha What the fuck just happened? <laughs> That's like a, he's like a long time supporter. Like, oh, okay, really? Yeah, so it's, it's actually very funny. And you know what's so crazy? He was actually there the when like. The first year, sit down, okay. sit down. He was actually there since like. Day one since like you was there. Really? So like, he's been supporting us since then. Oh. That's how you knew exactly where you were. Oh really? Yeah. Oh my god, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. oh. oh my god, I gotta use the bathroom so bad. Really? The good thing? Oh my glasses. Oh. Thank you. So who who was that? I don't know. You don't know? Mm -hmm. Wait. I just got here. I'm gonna ask the chat. Chat, chat, who was that? No crash, no crash. Oh my god, oh my god. So. I'm actually, I'm 
I'm very curious. He seemed very, um, he seemed very chill, very polite, had a lot of decorum. The guy who just came here to press yeah, us? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, yeah. He yeah, wasn't he on shit really for real. Cool, yeah. yeah, he wasn't on shit for real. He what? He wasn't on shit for real. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is that? The this is burrata, basil, and tomato. What is that? Burrata. Burrata. It's like it's like a type of cheese. It's really good. Try it. I don't, I don't know how to like. Could you cut me a piece? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's really good. It's like a very like creamy, smooth. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe Silky was in Japan and he didn't have sushi. Yeah. How do you I don't, go to Japan without having not sushi? Having, exactly. That's like that's like that's like having the palate of a five year old. Yeah. That's like the palate of a child. Yeah, it's in like my, in my Are you even a man? Right. Are you even like an adult? Right. Can you can you call you? <laughs> like really? Eat raw fish. Raw fish is good for you. What's your favorite type of sushi? Um I like rolls. I prefer nigiri sushi. Mm, yeah, nigiri, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So like just like the fish itself kind of thing? Yeah, me too. What's your like favorite like salmon, you know, tuna? Probably. I like salmon. I love salmon. I love, uh, I like eel. I never, I never. I like eel. I like um, yellowfin tuna. Oh, what is yellowfin tuna? We're talking about like sushi. Huh? We're talking about sushi. We were talking about how What's your favorite type of sushi? <laughs> um, I don't like sushi. Yeah. So, um, what's your favorite type of sushi? Um, I don't like sushi. Yeah. So, um, I hope you weren't trying to get close to her or anything like that. I was just having a regular conversation. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just a little territorial. <laughs> just a regular uh, conversation. <laughs> yeah. You need to kill your drink. You need a chug. How many shots can you take? I took like 20 though, right? 20? Yeah, that's my Don, no, no, do say it. Wait, so like, how, like, how long does it take for you to get drunk then? Probably like, that's the thing, like, these, like, I wouldn't even want to keep drinking it because these made me have these bad things, like, OD. It's like so much drinks. I have like a weird thing mm. where like, I, I can go hours without peeing. <laughs> I can go like 12 hours So you have to be You can hold it for 12 hours I can I have like a really Like large bladder I had an MRI Because I wanted to make sure That I wasn't having issues With my kidneys yeah. And so it turns out I just have a very like Large bladder And so like I can I can hold my pee in Like longer than like Most people Yeah So Well that's tough You know it's not though, it's actually really nice. No, like tough like me is like, oh. that's, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, it is. Really? It's tough. Did you try this? Uh, no, I haven't yet. I was waiting, I was waiting till you got here to, to eat. Yeah, so much decorum. Wow. That's I'm, amazing. I'm very, I have really good manners. Like, you know, yeah. I try, I try to. Okay, so let's, uh, let's dig in. We have like so many plates. Of course. Of course I could give you some. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Of course. So about that spiritual thing you were talking about. Yeah. 
Um, so like, you believe in like moon rising? I bet you're not gonna read her message. I'm a snipe. I'm a snipe at your low stay right there. I'm 34 out. Don't move. Oh, that's just like a fan in my chat. He's probably, he's probably gonna like try to shoot at me or something like that. Thank you. Yeah, like, like um. Well, no, the other guy wasn't a fan. That was like a, um, actually like a long time. No, ago. I know, but like the person in your chat. Yeah, the person in my chat, he's a fan. Yo, Justin, I appreciate you. Wait, so what, what's the official thing? Um, <laughs> nah, I'm playing. This is one of my homeboys. <laughs> this is one of my homeboys. Nah, he's just out in New York right now. Um, I guess I can't. Sometimes I am like astounded that people still live in this city. Hmm. This place is like, it's just so chaotic. It's just so, you know, like, personally, mm -hmm. if, if I was Baron Trump, I wouldn't go to, to NYU. Mm -hmm. I'd be, like, afraid, right? Because everyone would hate you. It'd be like, I mean, People could hate you, but it's like... Fuck it. Give a fuck. How do you deal with it? How do you deal, how do you deal with all of the criticism and all, all of the hate? Does it ever get to you? No. But they started like a whole trend on TikTok. I'm like, Silky, you're doing too much. Wait, and what like, do you mean? Like, it'll be a whole random video. And in the comments, it'll be like 30k likes in the comments. Yo, Silky's just doing way too much. Like, it was like a hate trend. Like, anything like about me, like, I don't like Silky. He's just doing too much. Like, I don't like Silky. It's like, you gotta embrace it. And you turn the haters into lovers. Turn the hate to love. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> so, so, mm -hmm. so when a man is mean to you, do you let him live or are you do you call him out? It depends. It has to be worth my time for me to call out somebody. Oh, like, yeah. No, yeah. Like, if there's nobody worth my time that I can't benefit off of, then it makes no sense to me to, like, give the time to So, like, I look at everything now as, in, like, a beneficiary in terms of, like, if there's going to be anything negative towards me or my brand, it has to, I can, it has to benefit me in a way that I can turn that into a problem. And that's good. It's cold, hard facts. You're very yeah. pragmatic about the way that you go about things, which you should be. Everyone should be. And I feel like if people went about relationships in that way, a lot less people would be heartbroken. Yeah. Yeah. People don't really get the gist of what it means to be in a relationship. All right, wait. Oh, that's a skirt stick. I'm going to try that. <laughs> Not be just like staring off in the space. <laughs> Me? Here we go. You want one? You want more? Here. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I'll give you just like a. Like <laughs> no, 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 you don't have to give Let's just taste it first. Let's just taste it first. <laughs> That's actually good. That's actually really good. Bro, take bro. This is all shit for us, bro. I'm waiting until you guys try it first. Mm. Such manners. Yeah. Oh, well? Yeah, he's a great person. Mm. The sauce is a little different. Honestly, mm. I, I think the world would be a better place if everybody was a little bit more like us three. And like I really, but, you barely know them. but but no, but that speaks more to to what I'm saying. Mm. The fact that I barely know him and that I'm still speaking so highly of him. Mm. Right. And so, so now what if he was just a horrible evil person? 
I don't really think he is them. Nah, he's not. <laughs> he's a good person. Okay, so far? Yeah, okay. it's amazing Go so far. Ahead. Thank you. Can I can I get um you want another? You didn't finish yours. Oh, uh, can I get another one of these? Yeah, purple haze. I'll get another one of these. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, let me get two. I can drink, man. Don't work yourself up now. I didn't heard that before. Yeah. Ah. Well, okay. Well, I was in Korea, so it's different. Yeah. We're literally all they do is drink. Ooh. Literally all they do. No, but you know what I mean. Like when it comes to like going out, mm -hmm. like there's no smoking, obviously, because like Japan, it's very strict. Like not wine. All they do is drink and they go out and they drink a lot, a lot, a lot. So how long were you there for? I was there for three months. Three months. Ninety days. Oh, that's actually so crazy. I need to try Japan like that. This one. Intelligent, three intelligent human beings. One on the spectrum, one fully autistic. Oh no, he's on the spectrum, you're autistic. You're fully really autistic, I'm on the spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Loki too. You probably like are autistic though. Like <laughs> So you know I'm a plan B baby? I'm so serious. I'm so serious. My mom's like a plan B, I'm still born. I'm so serious. I think I am too. For real? I think so. But that's, I think that's the... Because I was in an accident. But I think, really? I think the accidents are usually like the best people. Mm. I really think that. But... The biggest accident could be a blessing. Yeah. You know? It's like God, God willed us to be here. Go, by his hand, he will do it. Exactly. Yeah. No, this is actually fucking really strong. <laughs> they said I was a nut that t that was too strong. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, Jack, was, was any of y'all like Plan B Baby Sue? I wonder, like, am I, are we the only people that like could have been Plan B Baby? Plan B Baby? No, 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 wow, okay. Damn. They were planned. Well, it was a happy accident, so whatever. You know what? A happy accident. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I know my mom was definitely. I thought it was just seeing that too. At least you didn't abort me though. What? I said at least you didn't abort me. I don't know, would you rather have never existed at all? I guess not because you made a great life for yourself, huh? <gasps> I'm going to say great. I would say. You, you should be, you should be more proud of yourself than you are. You're very self- uh, self-critical. Cause I feel like there's so much but I, more. But I'm self-critical too. So yeah. I, I get it. Yeah. There's so much more to accomplish. Like I haven't done it. Like, <laughs> like what? What more? I want to move lives. Like I want to change we, people's lives. I want to change people's lives. No, but science <laughs> is like. You see how you say like 
you're gonna like try to cure cancer, but you can't talk about it too much. Try to what? Like you say how you see you want to like cure cancer, but like you don't want to talk about it too, but you can't talk about it too much. Well, it's I, like your silence. Well, no, listen, I, I could talk about it. It's just that nobody, except very, very few people who are also in the field, would understand it. Mm. That's the, that's the, like, I would talk about it more, and I'm allowed to. It's just that there's no point when a lot of it would be incomprehensible to the vast majority of people. Yeah. So, in a sense, I look at it as, in the long run, I really do want to show people that this should be a world full of love. I agree. You feel me? Like, I, I feel like I there's totally, too much negativity. There's so, there's so much hate. Yeah. There's so much hate, and there's no reason for it. It's needless. Just be sweet. Just be kind. Yeah. Be kind. Be creative. Be curious, most of all. Like... I think, I think when it comes to, to I, I think most of the world is operating under fear. Most people are very fearful. Yeah. Um, and the, the best way to combat fear is to be curious, to just be open and be curious about, yeah. really, like, it's true. And that's why I say, like, it sounds crazy, but, like, when you... Like, when you spread hate, it makes people appreciate love more. You know what I'm saying? Because, look, if you start out, I'm dead ass, like, if you start out with pure love, you can, you can become, like, you can become hated on they, they take it for you. granted. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but when you start off with so much hate, and then you show the love, it's like, oh, my God, I have to cherish this while I have it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, obviously, I don't want to push the message of hate for me, but it's like, I like tough love. Like, tough love is like I've done that with my sisters I've done that with my, tough love my siblings everything yeah like and it builds character yeah I feel like you're you're a lot like my my male family members in a way they're very like they're very tough you know they, yeah. they're very like they believe I believe in tough love like I, I think that's the only way to like get shit done it's like yeah. to, to be yeah. Because then you look at other people, how they were raised, and, like, there's people that who were, like, loved their whole life, you know what I'm saying, um, shown the best, greatest life, but they just turn out to be the most rotten apple, you know what I'm saying? The most what? Rotten apple. The rotten apple, apple. yeah, like, because it could be, like, people don't understand, like, um, I guess a struggle, or I guess, like, to not be loved. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if people don't really understand that, then they can't really... Do you know what it's like to not be loved? Yeah. Everybody. I, I'm pretty sure, well, not everybody does, but I'm pretty sure everybody has, like, type of shit. I think so. Yeah. So it's like... <laughs> what are they talking about? Like, what the fuck are y'all even talking about? <laughs> they just said the nigga been a friend, colleague zone, like, this entire <laughs> colleague zone or something. <laughs> he would never be my colleague. Well, yeah. maybe, I don't know. If you if you decide to get your PhD in genetics, then we'll be colleagues. <laughs> I can do that. So I can wear my little lab coat and be in the same lab as you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, have to, I might have to invest in some shit like that. It's a lot of fun. I really, I really do enjoy it. Like I'm very happy doing it, and I, it is like very fulfilling. Like I, you know, you I like really, you I do feel like a real purpose behind it. That's I'm, good. Yeah, I'm very happy. That's actually really good. Fuck with that. I'm, I'm very passionate. Now. Yeah, I'm glad you're happy with this day. Is that the bowl of right there? Mm -hmm. Fuck, I'm already full. But I'm not full, but it's like the possibly like sitting in my stomach, bro. I didn't even try this. Is this actually really good? It's really good. Yeah, try it. <laughs> you don't like it? No, that's good, but the way you just... <laughs> well, you, you, yeah, you have to get like a little bit... Yeah. <laughs> is this how to make it seem like I'm a rookie or something? I mean, I, me personally, I had her um, cut me a piece actually. Cause I didn't know how to do it. Yeah.
Thank you, by the way, for cutting me there. Of course. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm like, I'm so glad that I decided to meet up with you guys. Like, I... You guys, I didn't even know you were here. With you. Oh, okay. But I'm glad that you're here. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's like a little brother you never had. I didn't have a little brother, no. It's like a little brother you never had. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, it's gonna be sick for you guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sure, I'm not sure where they are. Woo! God is good. Life is so life good. Toast. Toast to life is good, man. Cheers, cheers. cheers. Life is good. Life is great. Little bro. <laughs> you want to try the bowl of these? I'll just finish the steak. Oh, okay. You want to try this? Sure. You're full. You're full. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I should have more protein there. Yeah. Mm, so you know about the protein games, okay? Of course I know about so you, So wait, so what made you want to get in the gym? In the gym? Yeah. Well, I wanted to be... I wanted to have a lower body fat percentage. So you see me say it? <laughs> He's moving like a parasocial, bro. Wait, what? Nah, just some, some of my brother in town. Oh. How's it going, guys? Yeah. Checking us out? Yeah. It's actually really good. I love this place. When did you, how, what made you, what happened to make you start finding out parasocial relationships more? Well, because I feel like before you didn't, uh, you didn't really mention them too much. Did something happen? <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. Thank you. Um, I really started realizing it within different communities, like a mountain. And then I started realizing. So I met this guy named Jason. Right? His name is Jason. Vietnamese man who was also a very well known streamer, uh, very successful, very uh, a good friend of mine, like a brother. And um, he has a community who dearly loves him to the point where sometimes they feel like they're him or they should be with him. like, oh, they, sh they should just deem whatever he does type stuff. Right, and I'm not coming for his community or anything like that. No, but like, in terms I of like, I know how parasocial relationships yeah. work, but I'm wondering if um, maybe like the reason why you mention it so often is because uh, you experience something similar. Parasocial relationship? Are people weird to you? I mean, anything that I do with any girl now is a lot of, yo, know, we wish she was cat. <laughs> you know, um, that comes up a lot. Um, or. If they even so much as have any bad background history. What do you mean? In terms of maybe they might have a million hands or maybe if they have had like a minute Oh, so people like look into like... They will look into that. Okay. They will look into that person. That's weird. Yeah. But it's like... I'm sorry, that's like really weird. Nah, because I think, I feel like most of the things that I do on stream is like, it's more as true, but at the time it's like... 
feel like now, like the, the women that I meet now, is more like so. I don't really know their intentions. You know what I'm saying? Vice versa, like when I met you, like we, I met you when I was at my lowest type shit. Well, one of my lowest. I didn't. I wasn't averaging. You weren't at your lowest. You were just starting out. We were yeah. both just starting That's out. That's what I'm saying. So it's I, like you know, I just quit halfway through because yeah. I wanted to pursue something else. But I would like I just quit halfway through I wouldn't say that you were at your lowest. Like you were just you were beginning. It was yeah. it was the beginning of the, the whole adventure that you've been on. Yeah. And you were there. So that's what I'm saying. I look at it as like I hold you to a different tier than like a lot of other people that I have in my show type shit. Cause it's like I don't know. I feel like it's always been genuine, and like what now it's like I don't know what could be genuine. You know what I'm saying? So it's like hard to depict what is and what no, isn't. I mean, I bet. Yeah, and yeah. it's um, by the way, that's only gonna get worse and harder and harder to, to pick out as you as you grow, which you will. Yeah. You've been growing exponentially, and so I have no doubt that you're gonna grow even more. And so that issue is only gonna get bigger and bigger. So just, you know, be mindful. <laughs> be I'm careful. Time. Yeah. Time. I want to keep a positive head on my shoulder. Yeah, and I, I think you've done like, a really good job at that. Thank you. So, yeah, the parasocial community is not too like crazy because it's like. I feel like my community is like when they real because I really try to shit on parasocials. So like when they realize they become a parasocial, they be like, oh shit, I'm like, I'm too you know what I'm saying? So that when they realize they're too deep in, they be like, ah, you know. And that's good. Like you, you have it. That's again, like that's why I specifically like agreed to collaborate with you multiple times because I feel like your community is just way more self-aware. Yeah. There's like a lot of self-awareness and. Uh, that I don't see with other streamers and I, I think it's just because I think it's because you're picky. I think you're selective in, in who you allow in your space. Yeah. You yeah. was right about your intuition. A lot of things you said so far have been like on the spot the money. I mean like I have a really good I have a good sense for that. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> it's good though. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wait, he said <laughs> this is the same nigga that was being parasocial with Cindy and X. <laughs> so, what I'll do is I'll troll like some of my friends. That's like guy friends. And I'll troll like. I try to act like I know like what's going on and try to be like more into the business because like I'm in and like his like uh, friend situation. But it's like some troll shit. Like, I'm, but I, I can never really fully be like a parasocial. So that's not like something that I, you know I mean like I'm less into. I don't think you could ever. Okay. I, I, I have never. Okay. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I'll pull up. Oh, let me get a little bite before. <laughs> pull over. <laughs> I think I seen that. <clears throat> Sorry, my bad. Something in my throat. I think I seen that guy yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the guy he's taking a picture with. Yeah. Yeah, it was this guy. He paid off. <laughs> he's like a paid actor. No way. Yeah, and he just has them come up to like wherever he's sitting. Yeah. He just takes like a, a picture with the guy. Okay. Yeah, kind of like sure. make himself seem more cool. And, you know, train spotting, you know the movie? Wait, did you tell him? What? Did you it's tell him? It's a movie that Harold, but uh. <laughs> no, 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 Silky so met up with that guy yesterday. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, and, uh, so you're saying he paid him? Yeah. Paid him to come yeah. here, take a picture. I don't know why they're taking so long right now, but. You know. Oh, it's because he's paying him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, second time? Yeah. But how are you liking the food? It's really good. How are you liking it? And, you know, <laughs> the steak was really good. I think the steak was like the best. Did you go to Japan with Sophie? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. 
I wish though. Oh, here he comes. And then, yeah, perfect. Yeah, uh, John Sean. Yeah, question. Follow me. Yeah. Come here. We'll be right back for you guys. Did you say something? Nothing really. <clears throat> so why did why, why did the chat just say dirty Mac crazy? Did he, did he say something? I didn't say anything. I was just talking about how that guy. So you're a liar. No, I was talking about how that guy that came up here. Like you seen him yesterday. Gave it all. You seen him yesterday. So you're a liar. That guy you seen him yesterday. Uh huh. He like paid him to come here. You know. <laughs> He needs to pay him to take a picture and shit, so. He said he's a paid actor. He said he's a paid actor. <laughs> so you said I'm paying people to come here and take Are you going to take care of yours, sweetie? Sweetie? Honey? Honey? It's okay. Everybody calls the paparazzi. It's okay. It's fine. Everybody has a costume. It's okay. Yo. Wow. So I leave for two minutes. I leave for two minutes. And the first thing you say, oh, he paid for that. <laughs> See, I don't really get what you hate on that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so he's a little, I don't believe he's getting. Oh, really? Yeah, he's I Wait, do you want to be friends? Yeah, gay besties. <laughs> Um, like literally, almost all of my friends are gay men, yeah. except for you, and like one other guy. But he's like five. But yeah, I'm not actually gay though. Oh really? I gotta recreate the clip. I gotta recreate the clip. Oh. So easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My dearest friend uh, from from college, he uh, he's the one that I I thought he was bi, right? The one he so I went up to him. So like, do you want to hear the story of like why I thought he was bi? <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's, I don't. I, I don't. It's Easter own. Well, it's not like it's just so. I'll tell you anyway. <sighs> I knew you were going to tell me anyway. I knew you were going to tell me anyway. I swear I knew you were going to tell me anyway. So, um, we went out one night, and my roommate came up, and she, we were like, towards the end of the night, she comes up to me, and she's like, did you know that so-and-so is bi? And I was like, mm -hmm. Don't forget 7 p.m. Side, what the fuck are you talking about? Mm. Dude, you can't see. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. I, was like, I was like, no, like my roommate told me that you were bi. 
and he was he was like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm straight, like, I'm not bi. And I was like, no, like, she said that you were bi. And he was like, are you trying to gaslight me into, into not, like, why are you trying to gaslight me into being bi? And I was like, no, like, literally, like, that's, that's what she told me. And so I guess it was, it was resolved then and there. But yeah, it turns out he, was, he wasn't bi, he was straight. So, yeah. So you don't have a bi? No, I had a, I was straight. So he's not bi? But like functionally he's alive. Who is he? He's my friend from college. Just a friend. Yeah, he uh he lives in, in Texas. Oh okay, that's perfect. Texas. Texas. <laughs> yeah, that's all when you caught me off guard when he said, Yeah, you're because it looked like you were dead eyes serious. I'm like, what the fuck? You're lying, right? <laughs> Stop saying that, bro. No, I'm not fucking lying. No. I'm not fucking bi. First of all, I don't even believe that there's a bi, bro. It's not even gay or not. Me too. Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I totally, I agree with you. Like, every time that I'm not being gay, I'm being straight. And every time that I'm not being straight, I'm being gay. Wait, you're bi, right? No. Oh. No, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> that was a crazy counter right there. I'm not gonna lie. That was a, that was a crazy counter. I'm not gonna lie. I was um. <sighs> so do you believe poly polygamy? Oh my god, every time that you see a polyamorous couple, why are they always so fucking ugly? <laughs> they're always so ugly. Like, they're always fat. They're, you know, like, I can see that. But, like, it's true. Like, they're always, they're always. So, this is why you need to look at the Lucy Yellow and Sussex and say shit like this. <laughs> ah, this is gone, this is gold. <laughs> she said they're always ugly. They are, though, like, really. Nah, I don't believe in baby though. What do you think about it? What, polygamy? Yeah. Um, I just feel like you can give yourself to one person, you don't need more than one. Oh, that's so romantic. Really? It is. I feel like that's a norm, traditional. No, most of, for most of humanity, it was very, uh, not common to marry for love, it was common to marry for practical reasons. But not, so, um, no, like it's it's romantic that you think that. That's, you know, like. I think, I think, I mean, I feel like that should be like the normal way of thinking. I feel like the normal way of thinking now is just um, people getting together to like look good, or to benefit from one each other, one another, or uh, just to find somebody to fill that void. Vice versa, somebody actually just trying to build with somebody. But there's nothing wrong with that. No, I, there is. No, I would argue that there's actually nothing wrong with that. What, to find somebody to just fit a void? I would argue. Well, isn't it, aren't we all? No. Aren't we all kind of doing that to the No, because when, when, you're find, when you're trying to find somebody to fill a void, that means that you're already coming to somebody to build with, right? And um, how long do you play with a broken toy? I see. I, I think that you should find fulfillment in things outside of other people. You should find fulfillment within yourself. And like, exactly. Yeah. So you should fulfill yourself, make sure you're, you're whole before you come to somebody else broken. Because if, you, if you're a broken toy coming to somebody who's already whole, then that person has to fix you up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, there's nothing wrong with that, but I feel like I get a sense of... I mean, of, I, I think... I don't really believe that anybody has to be, like, fixed, yeah. so to say. Like, I... I think that just certain people are, like, compatible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I guess what you would consider broken is what somebody else would perfectly match. Mm -hmm. so, exactly. Yeah. He's just too opposed. Yeah. I gotta be that. But... Hey, how are you today? Good. When you date somebody, you date in a, in a sense of, oh, I just want to see where this goes, or are you date to marry this person? And I'm not, okay, actually not date. 
when you become somebody's boyfriend and girlfriend, are you becoming their boyfriend and, boyfriend and or girlfriend in order to get married or in order just to have somebody to fill that void? That's what I'm saying. Because like, if you don't see yourself in a you know, long term wise with somebody, what is the point? Well, you could ask that question on and on and on. You could say, what's the point of anything? Right. It's like, because eventually that person, if you, if, let's suppose that you do decide to spend the rest of your life with someone, eventually that person is going to be, they're going to, eventually, even if you do dedicate your life to this one individual, eventually they're going to be gone. And what then? Um, we be gone together. That's all I do. It's like, if this person... I'd rather lose a person through death and knowing that they never betrayed me and knowing that I, I had the best life with this person rather than somebody cheating on me because they felt the need to or rather than somebody trying to bury their options with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Because then I can rest comfortably. Well, you're never going to rest comfortably. I will. Well, then it, then it comes down to what your definition of love is, then, because a lot of people, they... Love is unconditional. Well, no, but then it is conditional. No. No, because if you're, if you're loving someone under the condition that they do what you request them to do, then that is conditional. No, love is unconditional. Real love is unconditional. Real love is unconditional. And I, I think that, um, I think the way that I love my dog is unconditional. Exactly. So if you could love your dog... Unconditionally, you can definitely love a human. Unconditionally, no, because, because humans can betray you, and they, they can be mean and wild and crazy. And that's the part of life taking risks. But then, so, like I said, so you'd be willing to love someone unconditionally. You'd be, you'd be willing to say, you do whatever you want to do. I'll love you no matter what. That's the thing. So there is love that's unconditional in terms of as long as you guys are both respecting each other. So with unconditional love, there's respect as well. But then that's so you know, no, so no, really, the that's that's a no, given. No, it's true. The second that no. you add that condition, it becomes conditional. No, that's a given. No, that's, that's conditional. A, a given is a condition. No, <laughs> that's literally what a, a given, given is. It's a condition. It's no, because if I say love is unconditional, right? I, so I'm not going to unconditionally love somebody. Okay, so look, I, I, I understand what you mean, right? <laughs> In a sense of unconditional love is like I can always have some love for that person, but I will not be able to see myself with them for the rest of my life if they were cheating. You know, I can still have love for them right. unconditionally, but will I see myself with them for the rest of my life? No. Right. Because of no, that's fair. That's fair. And, yeah. and, and that's, in that case, it's not a condition. It's condition. Because you place a condition under which you would love them. Unconditional love is where you would love something, a person or a thing, no matter what it or they or it or he decides to do. Like, with a irrespective of you independent of So, so it's conditional. It's, there's nothing wrong with it, but it is conditional. And, uh, but, and by the way, there's nothing wrong with it. I, I think that love between two adults should be conditional. I think there should be um, I think there should be rules. Like, yeah. uh, but I think when it comes to children, I think we should love children un unconditionally because we owe them everything. We owe them everything because we brought them into the world and they owe us everything. So, yeah. yeah. I see in a sense what you, what you say. I understand what you mean. And also, kind of, kind of the same comes with like pets, with dogs that you know they didn't necessarily choose to be here, and we chose to take take them into our lives. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a bro. She's so smart. She's way smarter than me. <laughs> but I feel like that's what I'm saying, though, right? I feel like respect is just not like a. Well, no, so it's like, like I feel like it comes with it. Like I feel like it just comes with it. Of course. I feel like it's. I feel like respect is not a condition. It just comes with unconditional. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that's fair. Like when it comes, 
Yeah, so if you... Have you guys been here before? Well, not really though. I mean, it doesn't really, unfortunately. Nothing comes with it. That's unconditional means no conditions. Meaning, technically, like, they wouldn't have to. Perfect. So right now, what I do have available if you guys I know you mean. I have the bar. <laughs> I do have some high tops with high bar. It's a sad truth. Right, so we have the yep. bar, and then we have some high tops with high bar. She knows how to debate. No, she does. She definitely just debunked me. It's like, damn. Oh, cool. Hi, how are you guys? Good. Have you guys been here before? Well, you know, one thing, one thing that I really, not not that I dislike, but that I'm privy to is people are like, when when people say that I'm smart. Uh, I really, I don't, I don't see it that way. I think that, I think that anybody can do it. In terms, like even in the very technical sense. Um, I don't think that you have to be smart to really do anything. I don't think that your IQ matters. I think it's really about willpower. Um, I think that anybody could do what I do. Uh, it just, it really just takes willpower and hard work. Like, it's, yeah, I, I don't think me being, in, I don't think I'm intrinsically a smart person. Like, intelligence isn't static. It's something that changes and like your brain changes as you age. Uh, and so, and like people, like it's true, like there are scientific studies that support that. Your brain does change as you age. So don't limit yourself because you think I'm so dumb I can't do that. Yeah. No, like that's, that's not true. It's not. <laughs> So that means you're like trying to spread positivity and not hate, right? Mm. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. That makes more sense. What are you getting at here? You're like, I want to spread hate. <laughs> I was just trying to have a better understanding of what she was talking about, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I, I think that I think that you're as smart as you want to be. I really do believe that. Like, I think it's a choice. Most things in life are a choice, and a lot of people don't want to admit that, but it's true. The reason why you are where you are today is because you made a multitude of choices that led to that. And I know it's true. Yeah. So I do have that too. Well. I mean, no. No. There's no such well, thing. There's no such no, thing. No, no. Nah, I, I was trolling when I said you're too smart for me, but I'm saying in the sense of, like, you're able to, um, make me understand your point of view and, um, make me ponder on my own. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I call you very smart. I mean, I'm glad. If, if I can get even one person to be introspective today and think about the choices they've made, then I'm happy. What's up, I'm Kevin? Glad. Even one. So, cheers. <laughs> Amazing top. Amazing top order. I love my yacht sessions. It's amazing. Thank you. If you actually like make sense. I should be a motivational speaker. Uh, let's slow down. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think you could. Actually, really? yeah, no problem. Just probably write a book. Oh my god, when I was when I was younger, I thought that I would be a writer. I thought for sure that I would write a book. Fabulous. That I would write a novel. Because I was very like I was very creative. I was awful at math and I was awful at science, which is funny because I'm a scientist now. But um, I was really, really creative in terms of like reading and writing. And so yeah. I thought for sure that I would go into like journalism or writing or something. Yeah. Uh, but I, you know, I mean, I still could. I should write a book. We yeah. should. We should write a book. We should write a book. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I'll, 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 I'll try to help. Oh my god, that'd be so fun. We should co-author a book. That'd actually be so fun. You actually co-author a book? I absolutely could. Absolutely. There's nothing that I can't do. There's nothing that I cannot do. I like that. Um, I guess. Are y'all done with this? No, I'm done. I'm full of shit. It was amazing. Excellent.
Excellent. Do you want anything to go? Oh, no. I'm good. Okay. Mm. I said I can't read. I literally grew up reading. <laughs> I literally grew up reading. I didn't say that. No, no, I'm talking about the child. They said I can't read. Oh. I'm really telling them I literally grew up reading. Cat the scientist, yeah, you're not the brat no more. <laughs> you're, you're cat the scientist now. I'm still a brat. No, but you might have to, you might have to like rename, like you might have to rebrand. Like. I might have to rebrand, I know. Cat the scientist. Yeah, no, I know. You know how tough that sounds? <laughs> that sounds so tough. Thank you. Um, you got no, the gum? Like, I need some gum right now. Made five books. Five. Come on, we'll do the first one together. The Great Gatsby. I read that. Um, I read um, Vampire Diaries. Wait, that's not a book. That's a fucking TV show. No, it's actually a book. Is it really a book yeah. series? Yeah. Wait, I read Twilight. I read Twilight too. No, you didn't. Oh my god. I read Percy you read Jackson, Twilight? All the all the series of Percy Jackson. Wait, did you see the Twilight like films? Like yeah. all of them? Yeah. Really? So did I. No way, really? Yeah, that was one time I wanted to be a fucking baby Oh my god, me too. I wanted no, same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um I read um <laughs> what? what was that read? <laughs> oh, the 48 laws of power. Oh, that's um, a good one. That's a good one. I read oh, the four. Oh, well, I just, I, I literally Resolution just read this like two years ago. It's like the four. But no, Twilight is like actually so good. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not good, but it's like, it's so nostalgic for me. Like, watching the movies. Like, I now I want to live like in the forest, like in the Pacific Northwest. Do you not? So don't tell me, don't tell me that you want to live in the city your whole life. I know that eventually you want to move to the forest. <laughs> I know that you do. Yo, if I see a spider, I might lose it. Really? You're afraid of spiders? I do have before you. Like, I got a lot. I have, you know what I, what's it called? Oh my god. What's it called? The phobia, the, um, trypophobia. The small, the fear of small clustered holes. What? Trypophobia? I have trypophobia. Oh, so like sorry, this? my foot's there. Um, no, like, I, I can't, I don't even want to, like, see, like, a little ass hole in the wall right there. No, it's, like, it's different. It's, like, it's, like, like, the fear of, like, small, like, clustered holes. Like, like, almost, like, imagine if, like, your pores became, like, really big and they were, like, clustered together. If I saw that, it would be, like, disgusting to me and I would, like, run away. Oh, like a beehive? Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Ah, like it makes your skin crawl to yeah, oh, okay. yeah, like it's like disgusting to me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, I, I think, <laughs> yeah, nah, that, that shit does weird me out too. Yeah, try to put, yeah. 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 I, don't, I don't think I have it, but it just weird me But it's me like, out. it's like, it's so interesting to me, like, as a scientist, because when I, when I look nah, at... Nah, that shit's gonna be itch, what the fuck? No, exa right, exactly. No, because like, when I look at the images, like, the, the response is like, it's autonomic. It's autonomic, which means that it's like... It's autonomic. Which means that it's evolutionarily conserved. No, it's autonomic. If autonomic means that it's something that happens without, like, like it, it happens like, is it like a, without me like thinking automatic? about it. It's oh, automatic, okay. yeah. It's so, like my nervous system automatically is just disgusted by it. And, like, I can't, I can't do anything about it. <laughs> um, it's disrespectful ass animals. This is my little ass ambulance. Sirens while Cat the Brad is speaking. Cat the Sirens. <laughs> my mom said you're too smart. <laughs> Your mom said that? 
no, there's there's no such thing. Like, really, there's uh, there's not. Like, I I really I hate people. I don't like it when people say that like your intelligence determines everything about you, and like if you just if you don't have that intrinsic intelligence and your help, like I I just don't. I, first, it's not true. And I also don't believe in it. And I think even if you do, what good does it do to believe in that? I mean, yeah. But you have to believe that you're the smartest person in the world. What? I said, like you have to have that confidence that you're the smartest person in the world. I think everybody should believe that they're capable of doing what it is that they want to achieve. And that's why I promote tough love. Yeah. Because some people don't have that confidence. Absolutely. And you have to really mold it into them. That's why we need people like me and you. Yeah, that's yeah. what I said. I said I said all everyone should be like the three of us. We need we need quiet we need quiet people behind the scenes. We need people that are kind of like out there and like <sighs> rambunctious and we yeah. need people that it is very intelligent. Thank you. <laughs> you. Um but really like we, we do need all three types in the society to the three of us is a type we, we could rebuild society as we see it if we really wanted to so do you think that we'd be able to rebuild society well I said our types like our archetypes would be able to like if there were, if like if every single human being was a little bit more like like us three yeah we'd all be better off wouldn't we <laughs> me cat Little bro. <laughs> uh, I have a name. Huh? I have a name. Laser. Don't forget the beam. <laughs> but what's his slogan again? What's his slogan? <laughs> Wait, you have your notes? <laughs> you have a slogan? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> It was a nice little slogan to him. You're gonna say a slogan? Or... What? I don't know, I'm just gonna get it real quick. So, what? Uh, huh? Your slogan? Yeah, what? Are you gonna say your slogan or. Um. I have this corner table here. All yours. I think they're putting it in the chat. You want me to, you want me to say it? Uh, I really can't do that. Why do you laugh like that? <laughs> oh, shit. That's what we do it? I mean, oh, shit. I just... Boy. I, I, don't, I mean, shit, I don't know. You don't know what that I is, like right? a song, you know? But I think, I think it's, I think it's um, if you mess with the laser, you get the beam. That's so good. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's pretty clever. Oh, my God, that's so cool. Yeah. That's actually, yeah. So wow. amazing. If you mess with the laser, you get the beam. <laughs> it's like a ring to it. You can say that, you can say that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think I need the bathroom. I gotta go to the ATM too. I have to use the bathroom too. This is a problem with it. Didn't you say you can hold yours for 12 hours? Yeah, but... You go first. Okay. Yeah. I, but like I I'll wait for you. Just don't say anything bad about me. Of course not. You know if I talk shit, I talk shit to your face? You so would. Uh, yeah. No, you're kind of fake, though. <laughs> you're, no, you're kind of fake. How? You're kind of fake. How? You, you can be fake. I, you're kind of fake. How am I fake? You're kind of fake. Oh, my God. Now they got, I'm kind of fake.
go too far. No, what? I won't go too far if you don't go too far. You have a deal? with the laser. Get the beam. Do we have a deal? Um, no. Nah, I think I'm actually going to show her a uh, video here. I think that's exactly what I want to do. Yeah, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. You wouldn't stoop that low to Victoria Clips, right? Can we leave a dessert menu for you guys? Uh, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm good on that. I'm stuck. Good to go? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, laser. Huh? You wouldn't, you wouldn't go that far as to get Victoria Clips, right? Thank you so much. It's only as far as you go. <laughs> so I'm not understanding. Is this your date or mine? Um, it's your date, but the thing is, is you keep violating me. <laughs> <laughs> so you're about to stand up for yourself. Yeah. And this is the time you chose to stand up for yourself. Oh, my head didn't itch. I was just mocking you because you're an imbecile. Thank you so much. No problem. You know, you have those worms on your head and you think you're entitled. You're a fucking loser, nigga. You know that? You're a fucking loser, nigga. You can't stop greatness, nigga. Nigga, this is greatness here, nigga. Do you see the intelligence at this table? I know you see it. I know you see a different silky, nigga. It's a different me, nigga. You see, bring the best out of me. And I won't let you ruin that. You hear me? I won't let you ruin that. Him with the shitty beanie. <laughs> oh, it's When I go to this bathroom. Sorry, I was having a cigarette. What? You know what? I wouldn't. I, you being in uh, Korea for three months, I'd expect you to smoke a little bit. I brought like a single cigarette. Oh my god, please don't smoke it. The purpose of smoking it in the bathroom. You do not smoke it in the bathroom. I know when somebody smells like cigarettes and coffee. Coffee? Yeah, I don't know. It's like a combo with. People with decimal cigarettes. Well, like in the morning. God, why do you smoke cigarettes, man? I'm kidding. God. Yeah, I mean, smoke. Obviously, I wasn't smoking a cigarette. I mean, smelling. No, I know I was smelling, but I'm saying, like, you don't actually smoke cigarettes. No. I don't know when you're wrong. You're like, a PR train right now. Well, okay, so, no. It's okay. Sometimes, like, when I, like, if I'm really desperate, after like a few drinks, like maybe I'll have like two puffs, but I'm not, I'm not like someone that goes out and like buys cigarettes. Okay, you know everyone in Japan, everyone in Korea smokes. Yeah, cigarettes, yeah. Yeah. So, whatever. Whatever. I don't care. You don't even see that. I don't. So it doesn't make sense. Um, I'm going to go inside and get, get to the ATM now. Um. 
Yeah. Nobody's about to. Yeah. You guys have a lovely time. Um, yeah, laser. Yeah, have fun. Have fun. If you mess with a laser, <laughs> you get the bean. <laughs> now, if you mess with a cat, you get the brat. You get the brat. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, I'll be back. Mm. You chat. Chat, chat. Thank you. They only take cash here. No, I think it's like I think it's something else. I think he's lying. lying I think I think he has to get cash because like I think his card is gonna decline. I think his card is gonna decline if he doesn't. Mm. I mean, he said he was like struggling financially. And yeah. All of that. So. Uh, no. I mean, I don't know. Like, what do I know? Yeah, no. Right. Um, I mean, like, what what I restaurant only takes cash? Like, that sounds fake, right? Yeah. So I, I think, like, all his money's stuck in the bank and, like, his car is declining. Yeah, I think so, he yeah. Can't, yeah. Yeah, that would make more sense, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Sirens. I know. They're loud. New York is so loud. Yeah. Not where I live though. Where are you from? Texas. Oh, me too. What? Yeah. What, what part of Texas? You're from I am. Texas? On my on my life, I'm from Texas. Yeah. yeah, yeah. From where? I'm from Arlington. Where are you from? Oh my God, I'm from Flower Mound, Highland Village. I Where's know. that around like? So, okay, wait, I know wait, wait. Grand Prairie. You know Oh yeah, Denton, Denton, yeah. I'm like, I'm from around there. Yeah, I mm. grew up, I grew up around there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, Arlington, wow. Yeah. yeah. Small world. <laughs> it really is though. <laughs> you been to Austin? Yeah. I love Austin. Austin is nice. Austin, it's like, Texas. I feel like the city there is like growing, you know? It's been, it's been growing for a while, but actually now it's like, it's getting smaller because people are moving away. There was like a big influx of like these like tech nerds from California, like yeah. the Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. Absolute like insufferable nerds just flooding Texas. And now I guess they're leaving because the real estate has gone up so much. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Wait, where do you live? You live in Texas too or? I live in New York now. Oh. Yeah. No, yeah, I, I live and work here. I. Um, I'm a model, but I, I do research part-time, so, yeah. So what type of modeling do you do, like Vogue? Uh, it is, it is my dream to be on the cover of a Vogue magazine, but um, I, I do everything except runway because I'm not tall enough to do runway. You have to be like, oh yeah, like six feet tall, like as a woman, to, and like really, really skinny to do runway. Um, and like I see the appeal, I get it. Like I, I know why it is the way that it is. Uh, so I, I don't do that kind of modeling. I just do like clothing and like skincare and beauty, like beauty is what they call it. It's like pretty much everything except runway. So yeah. Are you gonna go to 
LA. Back to LA. Silky. Yeah, I'll, I'll be I'll be back there. Um, I think Wait, we leave so that. What's today? Friday. It's Saturday. Oh, we leave like tomorrow you morning. You're having a good week. You don't know what day it is. Yeah, I mean it's a it's not really much of a good week, but more of like a long week. Yeah. Wait, so what? I didn't ask him what was he doing last night. Because he said he texted me. He was like, I've been up. It's six in the morning, and like I just am not going to bed. What, what was he doing? Um. I think he was making some bullshit song about a girl. What girl? I mean, I don't really know if he mentioned your name in that song, so it might have been about a different girl. I don't know. Wait, but, uh, wait. So people, people still write songs about like relationships? Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He does that. He does that. It's like it's like corny, right? That's really like corny. gay. Yeah. Oh, he's gay. He's gay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that's what. That's kind of what he's on, I guess. That's what he's about. <laughs> he's on his know. station. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So. That's funny. I know, see, I, I would have never thought that he would, like, write a song about a girl. He doesn't seem, like, that sentimental. Like, he seems like the kind of person that, like, if a girl screwed him over, uh, he wouldn't care. Like, he would never write a song about them. Yeah. He just would forget about it. Yeah, that's, that's why the chat says sometimes, like, oh, you're in love, he's in love. Like, they think he's in love, but, like, really? I think it's, like, but what would you say, like, what would you think that is, like? I don't really know. I don't know what to call that. I guess like... I guess like obsession mm. would be the closest thing. But I don't really know. I don't know. What would you call that? I would just call that like... Um, I don't know. In love with like one what, single girl. What, you, what obsessed with them. You? To do what? What would inspire you to make a song about about another person? <laughs> also, <laughs> I don't know. Nothing really. I, I mean, I, I, I don't really know. But you know, um, those gifts that he got you. You know those gifts. The, uh, oh yeah. The Studio Ghibli, like you know, like the anime stuff. I actually like. There's a spider web. Oh, I actually, like, picked out those um gifts, yeah. You did? Yeah, because we had to go find them, and I was oh. basically trying to help him find them, and I was like, yeah, I know all about this, you know. Uh, Studio Give is actually, like, I actually watched it's, that. Yeah, no, it's, like, a big oh, yeah, thing, yeah. yeah. That's so funny. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised that he didn't know about uh, about Studio Ghibli because exactly. it's been around for so mm -hmm. long. You, but you knew about it, and you're yeah. younger than him. And he watches yeah. anime, too. It's he, like, exactly, it's right? It's like, how do you not know yeah. who Hayazawa Miyazaki is? Exactly. Right? Or Hayao Miyazaki. But, yeah. I mean, like, literally, it's, I think, the most famous anime studio yeah. in Japan. So, it's like, he's kind of a fake anime fan. If you don't know what Studio Ghibli is, then are you even a fan? Huh? Are you even a fan? A fan of what? Anime? Oh, he's a supporter. He's yeah. Supporter. If you don't know what Studio Ghibli is, are you even a fan? I watch way more anime. Yeah, but, like... How do you not know what Studio Ghibli is? Um, I don't know what MAPPA is. Huh? MAPPA? What's that? You don't even know who MAPPA is, see? Uh, we can go hand in hand with that, you know? Yeah. I suppose. Well, you guys just talking about anime or something? Yeah. He said he, um, he helped you pick, pick out the Studio Ghibli. <laughs> That's what he said. That's what he said. He actually didn't know a fucking thing about what that shit was. Um, you know, I actually had to ask him a co worker. So, where's the little fire demon from? What? The fire demon? What's his name? <laughs> that was from the anime you told me. The house of. Uh, house of the castle. Yeah. But the fire demon, he has a little name. So I get to see Cal. Cal. Calisthenics. Cal is a dream. Exactly. Exactly. Duh. Duh. Yeah. You know, we could go with, that's what I'm saying, we could go hand in hand with my favorite characters in anime. You wouldn't know. 
So um, people call me Silkuna, you know what I'm saying? Um, but you wouldn't even know who Silkuna is. Yeah. Who's Silkuna? Is she? No. She. She? She does. Jesus Kaiser. Tsubasa Anime. Pants look cool. The pants look. I, I like I mean, the pants. I'm just. Yeah. 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 